Hello everyone and welcome to our channel and today I will be reading A Meteor Listener by me. So let's get into it. Meteor had no idea why you were acting that way. But he really thought that it was something that you could ignore. Maybe you just needed some space. After all, he wanted to let you have your own privacy and did not want to intrude on your space. But he was a little bit worried it was more than just a space issue, because you did not seem to want him around at all. At first, he thought that maybe you were just upset over something. He didn't know what thing it was. He didn't know why you were acting that way. But the first day passed, then the second, and he barely even looked his way, while living in the same space, mind you. So forgive him if he is a little bit worried, and if he's thinking about this too much. But he has to. It's important, as the two of you were dating, he could not just ignore what you were going through. He could try his best to let you have your own. He doesn't even know what to call this. Yeah, sure, he understands space. But whatever problem you were having did not seem to be a space problem. It seemed to be a problem relating to only him. Because he talked to the other people normally. He did everything normally. Besides talking to him and being with him. And that disturbed him greatly. He had no idea what he did wrong. Let alone did wrong enough to, to deserve all this from you. And he wants to ask but he's too afraid to. But he knows. If he keeps quiet about this then it's just going to keep going this way. And that was not something he wanted in the end. He wanted to fix this, not just let it happen, and hope for the best. Hoping alone will get him nowhere. And he needs to do something. Perhaps, like talking to you and communicating. Although that was easier said than done. And he was quite anxious, even just thinking about it. Because what if it's something that's actually bad? What if talking alone won't fix it? This may be your first real problem. And he has no idea how to go about fixing it. He's not really good at relationships. He knew he would mess up. A lot. But he never thought something as bad as this would have happened. And now that it has happened, he has no idea how to go about fixing it. And he hopes... That, that maybe it's not as bad as he thinks it is. He hopes and wishes and he does not want it to be that way. He wants it to be okay. He wants things between the two of you to be okay. And you could only wish. But he does not know if any of those wishes will ever come true. He doesn't know if he is deserving of them being true. But he knows he wants to try. And that's why he goes to you, anxious, fidgeting, before he just clears his own throat and looks you in the eye. Moyan, please, I know you've been ignoring me the past couple of days, but I, I really need you, Moyan. And I need you to be alright. I can't have this. You're not talking to me at all. It's like we're not even living in the same place. It's upsetting. And more than that, I don't know how to feel about us. It's like you don't love me anymore. And if you don't, that sign. It would break my own heart, but, but I would at least know the truth. I would know your own feelings and what you think about me. Instead of feeling lost like this. I think that hurts more, why not? I don't want to be in a fake relationship with you. If you're just going to ignore me, then you may as well break up with me. I don't know what I did wrong. And I want to know so I can make it up to you. So I can apologize and not do it again. But you're not even willing to tell me. And I can't do this. If this is how problems are going to be, then I can't do this relationship. 
He was scared to say those words, but they were true. Every single one. It's not he didn't want you around. It's more that he just couldn't bear being in a relationship where he didn't know whether he was loved enough or not. He didn't like that feeling, that uncertainty. And he just wanted to know what he had done to deserve that treatment. In the end, you do tell him what was upsetting you. And it turns out to be just a misunderstanding. Which is why he still remains a little bit upset, even after the two of you talk. After all, it could have all been avoided. If you had just told him straight away what was upsetting you, he would have tried to make it up to you somehow. He would have done something. But now, well, now the TV apologized. But it still feels like he's upset. And you understand that. And you're in no hurry for him to forgive you. In the end, you wrap your arms around him, giving him a soft kiss. Look, Mitro, I understand. I understand that you were upset with me, and that I may have hurt you a lot, but, but I love you, and I promise I will never do that again. I will never make you feel that way. I will do my best. Trust me. I want to do this. I want to be in a relationship with you where, where I can deserve your love and your attention. And I'm sorry I did all of that. I promise you, I'll never do it again. You tell him. And although he's heartbroken, and although he has many feelings to discuss, what matters is the intent. And now that you understand, he has no doubt that things will get better in the future. So he just sighs, taking you in his arms as he kisses you. It's all right, Wyan. I understand, and I'm just glad you understood. I, I'll try to do better as well. But what matters most is that Tini was communicating. Are you sure you can do that with me? I'll try. I can. You tell him. And that's all he really needs. So, the sun treatment is not something he wants. And most importantly... He just loves you. So do tell him when you're upset. He wants to know. So that it never happens again.